it's Lizzie all from Old Staples Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I am using an older stamp set. It's the Sheltering Tree set, which has been around for a while, but is no none the worse for that. Um, it was one of the early two-step stamping um, sets. As far as I'm aware, it was it came out before I was really that involved in um, in stamping up. So eh, I may be wrong. However. It's on page 140 of the annual catalogue. This is the catalogue we kind of all forget we've got because we get excited about the autumn winter and then we get excited about the spring, summer and celebration and we forget we've got this. But anything from the autumn, from the annual catalogue, um, you can still use to get celebration items. So if you want to buy anything from the annual catalogue, uh, now is a perfect time to do so during celebration. So I've already made this card, which is a kind of springtime uh, cherry blossom feel card. Um, but the thing with the sheltering tree set is that you can create trees pretty much for all seasons. So this one used, let me make sure I grab the right coloured inks, um, crumb cake for the tree, blushing bride for the petals, and pear pizzazz for the ground. And I did it all on Whisper White cardstock uh, with pear pizzazz background and a blushing bride mat. And then I did the thankful for you uh, in the same crumb cake. Now I did stamp off the pear pizzazz because it was quite, uh, my pear pizzazz ink pad is quite juicy and I didn't want it quite so in your face. Um, so I did stamp off. Now, I'm going to do a slightly different colour scheme this time, or a very different colour scheme. Colour scheme? Colour scheme. I'm going to use crumb cake again. Basic grey and grey granite. And the reason for that is that as we speak, as I'm recording this, we are getting weather reports that we're about to hit um, the middle of winter again. So, I thought I would change my spring feel card into a winter feel card. Oh, the other thing, I used sequins from the, uh, oh, grab these, the iridescent sequin assortment. I'm going to use the metallics sequin assortment for, for this card because it is going to have very much a more, a very much more winter feel, as I say. So, I don't know why I'm putting those away, I want to put those away. First things first, um, my Whisper White. Now don't worry about dimensions because they're all over on my blog. Uh, there's a link in the description bar below to the associated blog post and that's where you will find the dimensions. Uh, they're always right at the bottom of the post. I had someone contact me this last weekend about a, an earlier project. It was one I did earlier this month I think. It may even have been last month. Um, and she couldn't find the dimensions and um, anyway they are on they were on the, the blog post, so um, I just did suggest to her that she might need to go a bit further down. So, I'm going to start for my tree in basic grey. And my reasoning for this is that I personally think that when we start getting into, you know, really cold weather, everything looks a bit grey and it's not as... It's not as... Um, as brown and green as you would expect it to be. So I'm I'm just going for grey. Now I've inked up my stamp and I'm just going to stamp it slightly off the edge of my card because I think it just looks a bit more meant that way. Uh, so that's that. That's pretty much I think all I'm going to need the grey the basic grey for. But um, the next is going to be the ground, which I'm going to do in grey granite. Because again, I'm thinking there's that whole feel of um, the winter, the grey. Yep, I'll go for full strength of grey granite. And again, I'm going to go very, very slightly off the side, but ink that up and then come off the side a bit. 
And there we are. My tree's a little up in the air. We might need to sort that out with a sequin or two, but that's fine. Um, I am going to put the swing that is in the stamp set. It's actually quite some quite cute bits. There's a, a bicycle, which is a two-step. There's a swing. There's a, a garden rake, which you can do for sweeping up leaves. And you can obviously turn the, what I've used for blossom, into leaves as well. And then you have leaves falling. I had blossom falling, but anyway. So the swing is going to be down here and it is going to be swinging because it's winter it's going to be windy and the forecast is that it's going to be very windy so that'll be fun right now slightly what you might think a slightly odd choice of color I'm going to use the gray granite for some of the snowflakes and again it's because when you watch snowflakes falling you're often watching them against a blue sky. Well, I say a blue sky. No, you're watching it against an almost green sky. And I think, I'm going to do some full strength and some half strength. Um, I think it's it's fine to have them um, in grey granite. And I'm going to have them coming through the tree because they would, you know, they're not just... Uh, I don't know why I keep hovering over there. Um, I mean, I do, it's because I keep thinking I really ought to stamp off and actually I don't want to stamp off. And there we go. I think that will do. So, let's get rid of that. Oh, I do need to do my sentiment. I'm going to do my sentiment in basic grey, having said I don't need it again. Um, so, my brace, my brace, my sentiment, good grief, um, is You Warm My Heart, which I think tomorrow I am going to need someone to do just that, because I think it's going to be very cold. There we go. You warm my heart. And the final touch is going to be some sequins. Now, I do ideally want to pick out the either the iridescent or the silver or a mixture of both. And I'm going to have a few just coming down. And I will have make sure I've got one there because that'll help disguise the fact that I didn't do my two-step stamping terribly well. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's have something in the tr another one coming through the trees. Six, seven. And we can use some that are large and some that are small. And I've got my take a pick tool, which is lovely and you know mildly tacky. And I'm just going to pick up a sequin, pop it down. Now I'm not going to actually squish it down with the take a pick tool, I'm just going to pop it in place and then I'm going to come back and do the actual sticking in a moment because if you if you stick it down with the take a pick you'll end up with glue on your take a pick. So uh, not the best look. Bring in some iridescent and I know there are lots of silver in here, I just can't instantly see them. So do remember, while I'm while I'm trying to sort these little bits out, do remember we are still in celebration. So for every uh, £45 you spend, or multiple thereof, you get to pick something out of the celebration catalogue. Um, and um, there are all sorts of wonderful things. So we've got, oh, we've got um, stamp sets, we've got uh, designer series paper, we had ribbon but it's gone. Um, so yes, lots and lots of bits 
to choose from and they are amazing. The, the foil is stunning, um, which is in lovely lipstick and I want to say Grapefruit Grove but it might be Flirty Flamingo, um, but it's that sort of corally colour and it's, uh, it's um, holographic. The lovely lipstick is um, is a satin, and uh, the other one is holographic. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I like odd numbers. It's nothing more than that. Right. Okay. So I should probably have stuck my cut that to my card base and my mat before I put the sequins on. But you know. Best laid plans. So I've got my grey granite, which is just a half sheet of A4. Um, so it's A5, scored down the middle. I will pop some liquid adhesive on my basic grey mat. I do love this liquid adhesive. It gives you just that lovely little bit of wiggle room. Now I am going to put the adhesive on the mat. Normally I would do it the other way around but uh, because I've got sequins I don't want to be um, wafting my still slightly damp sequins around too much. So just pop that down and there is just the thinnest little edge. Because it's liquid adhesive you can move your card around until it's in the right place. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Do remember to go and have a look at some of the older stamps. Um, either dig them out of your own stash or get some get some new some new old stamps. Um, apart from anything else I would suspect that some of these will you know some of the older ones will be disappearing come the end of the current annual catalogue and it would be such a shame if you were to miss out on them. Uh, so there we go, two very different looks from one stamp set. Um, each of them took just three coloured inks, so not a huge amount. Um, we've got the neutrals and the subtles as uh, cardstock, so you only need one pack of cardstock apart from your Whisper White. Now obviously because we're using coloured cardstock, I would cardstock, put a liner in the middle, but um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye!